It is arguably the fastest way to heat your meal. Just put your food in the microwave and let the appliance do the th do the work. Exactly, you know, poof, magic, whatever. But with that convenience comes the age-old debate. Is it safe to microwave your food in plastic containers? Christina, I thought I knew the answer to this question, but you have some very good verify information here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have that misconception about this topic. And 13 News Now viewer Karen Lewis says, she never uses plastic containers that heat to heat food in the microwave, especially those not labeled as BPA free. So she asked us to verify whether plastics truly release toxins in your food when heated. Whether reheating leftovers or trying to cook through food, the good old microwave is the fastest, easiest way to get it done. But do the reusable plastic containers that so many use in the microwave release potentially dangerous toxins? We are verifying the answer with the help of the research done at the Food and Drug Administration. To better understand whether BPA is truly harmful, let's first break down what it is. BPA is a chemical component found in polycarbonate plastic, which is often used when making certain drink and food containers. According to the FDA, small amounts of BPA may migrate from the packaging to the food, especially when heat is involved. So we can verify. FDA research shows toxins can be released into your food from non-BPA-free containers. But is it really that dangerous? The FDA says BPA is actually pretty safe. In fact, studies by the organization's National Center for Toxicological Research has shown that low-dose exposure to BPA, such as when you microwave food in a plastic container, has no effects on people. So with all of that research in mind, if you want to be extra careful, the FDA recommends using BPA-free or glass containers when microwaving your food. And thank you so much to Karen Lewis for sending in that question. If you have something you want us to verify, just let us know. Send an email to verify at 13newsnow.com. You can also reach out to us on Facebook or Twitter.